Hey guys, Cabrina here and Daniela, and today we have an awesome color correcting tutorial for you guys today. But first, Cabrina had a really good idea of reading an inspiring quote um, before each video. So I'm gonna have her start and take that away. We really love this quote today. So it says, some entrepreneurs think, how can I make a lot of money? But the better way is to think, how can I make people's lives a lot better? If you get it right, the money will come. So why we love that quote is, you know, we're new business owners and entrepreneurs now, so we think about money a lot because it's just our tendency, it's the way we think. But what that quote really brings you back to is how to make people be happier and feel happier. And um, to build them through your business. Absolutely. So, and once you do that, the money will come. So we hope that's inspiring for you guys today. Okay, so let's dive into what we're gonna teach you guys today, which is all about color correcting. First, we're gonna start off with the level system, the undertone, and then how to correct it from there. So we're gonna begin. We're gonna start with level 10, ultra pale blonde. The undertone is pale yellow, and the corrective is gonna be violet. So what that means is, and what our favorite toners are, is the 9P series. So I'm gonna hold that up for you guys. So it's right here. And what we like to do to make a level 10 in Redken Shades EQ is clear it out. So I would use one ounce of 9P, and then one ounce of clear, and then two ounces of processing solution. And that would be my color corrective for that yellow um, undertone. Yep, I agree. I totally love that. Sometimes I'll even add in my level 10s. I'll do a, a, cap, a cap of 9V and clear. And then that also too can cut a lot more of the violet if they have a ton of more of it. We also, I always use 9T. I know mm -hmm. you do also. So 9T, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So that's 9T and T is for titanium and it counteracts warmth and creates ultra cool metallic tones. And the base is gray and silver blue. So what I love to use this for is um, that white, white silver hair. It's my favorite. So I'll do one ounce 9T, one ounce clear, and then two ounces of processing solution. And that's like my ultra white um, blonde appliance. All right, so we're gonna get into level nine. So that's very light blonde. The undertone is yellow, and the corrective tone is violet again as well. Okay, so what we like to do is, since most nine levels need to look more natural, um, we like to add either an N or an NB into the formula mm -hmm. with a violet. So we're gonna start off with 9N. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So here it is right here. It's like a very pretty sandy blonde, and it neutralizes unwanted warmth. The base is brown to tan plus blue violet. Mm -hmm. So you already have blue and violet in that tone, so it's great for color correcting because it's already gonna cool it down but also still look natural. And always remember, they, the ends tend to get a little dark. Like if your blonde wants to stay blonde, clear that out again because uh, and do one-to-one -one with that because it, you already have the corrective base in there. But if you want extra power, I'll normally add like a cap or two of 9NA or a cap or two of violet, 9V, and that's kind of how I do the, we do the basis of our, our coloring. So I'm gonna also talk about 9NB, because I know this is my favorite. The NBs are literally Beautiful. one of our favorites for um, mm -hmm. just like a natural cool blonde. Mm -hmm. And same thing, if you want it to be a little cooler, but still have that you know warm brown tone behind it so it doesn't look too unnatural, you could add like a cap or two full of violet and then put it in the NB. So I'm gonna show you the NB right now. So that's the NB right there. It's very like chestnutty and warm, which is beautiful um, on our clients. So we love both of those tones. Okay, now we're getting into level eight, which is light blonde. The undertone is pale yellow and the corrective is blue, blue violet. So we're gonna talk about the NA series first, which is natural ash. It's totally amazing. It is so good for removing those orange tones. Um, so let me just read what it actually is made up of. It is made up of black to gray plus blue violet, and it's really strong, like super strong. So what we recommend is also adding a neutral into your NA if you're gonna use it. Don't use the whole thing, because we've noticed mm -hmm. it tends to pull very like almost muddy green, right? Yeah, 
it's too muddy on, I've, I used it on um, a nine level, uh, a girl that just, I want to neutralize and I just used that pigment and it pulled really way too cool. It didn't look natural at all. So I, I suggest really watching how much you use in your formulas. So what we recommend is an ounce of 8NA and then half an ounce of a neutral, mm -hmm. just to keep that balance and that warmth. Um, and I would also use the same level. So like if you did an 8NA, one ounce, use half an ounce of 8N just to make sure it's not gonna pull too green on them. And I just wanna show you the swatch really quick. So here's the 8NA swatch. And you can tell it has like that little bit of green. Um, and you just don't want to use too much so your hair stays nice and natural looking. So next we're going to talk about the 8T, which I, I use the T's a lot. Um, I know you're more of a V person. I'm an 8NA, 8N, 9N, like yeah. that's, that, those are my favorites. Yeah, I found T's are one of my favorites for a very, like ashy neutral root tone. So if you have somebody who has a very warm root, I'll grab a T, either 9T, 8T, 7T, 6T, they're all great. Um, and they really make the root look like that. Um, just super cool ashy tone. So I'm gonna show you the 8T right now. And this is also great, great for color correcting with um, somebody who wants like a silver tone. I'll mix 8T and 6T together and it mm -hmm. creates that perfect like gray ashy silver tone. Yep, just make sure to get them past the level nine because then you'll really see that ashy silver tone if you want with all the trends right now. So the base of it is gray and silver blue and it counteracts warmth and creates ultra cool metallic tones. So I really love the 8Ts. One of my favorites. And then we're gonna talk about the GNs, which have been my savior for a long time. Me too, I love the GNs. Yeah, so first we're gonna explain what it is. So it cools, neutralizes, and minimizes unwanted brassy tones, and it has gray plus green yellow. Mm -hmm. So that sounds kind of scary, but the green really comes through and the yellow still keeps the hair feeling natural. So I, I really love them. Yeah, I love using them on um, a six level. Uh, they're, they're one of my favorites actually for like creating those tones and like really removing that warmth. So I'm gonna show you the swatch right now. You can definitely tell, it's called Ivy. I mean, you can see the green, it's, it's there. But it sounds scary, but it really, really works. No, it's all for your red. Like anything to remove red, green removes red. Yep. So always remember that. Yep, always look at the color wheel. All right, level seven. So it's gonna be medium blonde, and the undertone is orange, pure orange, and the corrective is pure blue. So what we're talking about is the NAs, the mm -hmm. Bs, and the GNs. Those are our yeah. favorites for the level seven. And what we're gonna start off with, again, is the NAs. So same thing, black to gray plus blue violet, and it has that really, really powerful tone in there to help us correct. Um, those RNG level sevens that we're trying to pull up and color correct. Especially if you're doing a highlight low light and you have a girl that you're correcting and through the low light, you have a lot more orange because you're lifting and there's still a lot of that background color. The NA is perfect for that. Add an N and a seven NA and it really neutralizes and makes it look beautiful and ashy. And same thing with um, the GNs again, mm -hmm. you can mix a ounce of 6GN and then an ounce of 8GN and make your 7GN if you want them to be at a level seven. Um, a lot of times I'll just use 6GN fully because they don't mind being a teeny bit deeper and then it cancels out even more of that green tone or that orange tone. So I would either go for the GNs or the NAs. Um, and then we've also found that blue mm -hmm. really covers orange. Yeah, I don't it's right across from the color chart. I'll put that out for you guys. So I think a lot of times you think only green works for orange, but blue really, really works. You, you told me that years ago. Mm -hmm. um, she like started that for me. So I take, um, the blues are um, kind of limited right now. They mm -hmm. have a 9B, which is great, but I'll add 01B into my formula, which is super dark. 
and you can take the back of your comb and you can mm-hmm. put it in the 1B and let like three drops in just mm-hmm. to give it that extra kick of blue if you're having a really hard time with that orange. And even like the NA series has blue and violet, so you'll have like a double pigment and a double amount of strength in those tones. All right, so we're getting into level six, which is dark blonde. The undertone is red orange and the corrective is blue green. So we're gonna start with the GNs again. So remember, it is minimizing unwanted brassy tones and it's gray slash green yellow. So I'm gonna show you the 6GN, which is much more power packed with the green tone in it. So I love using this for people when we're doing like an overall color correction and I'm bleaching her up. It makes the most natural um, light brown color, which is really, really pretty for people who don't wanna leave the salon looking orange. So. I'll take that at full capacity. I don't know about you, but I never dilute that product. I just use, um, I think like six and below, I don't really dilute them because I want that full power. And then we also love 6T for combating that orange color. Um, This really like ashes people out, which I know you love doing. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the 6T, the iron. This is one of my favorite shades ever. Yeah, and Daniela actually has been teaching me, we've been doing a lot of it like for people that have been going really, really blonde and they come in and they have a lot of yellow orange, we will redo their whole color. Literally, we'll put on like a 6T, like 5NA, 6NA, and then we'll go back and we'll do highlights and tone. And it's been just like phenomenal for like just rebooting the whole color and having that color correction. Okay, we also love 6NA. I personally, same thing, like, NAs, I would add a neutral Mm because it is so powerful. Mm -hmm. Um, Be careful using the NAs alone without putting a neutral in there. You do not want your clients to look green. So Mm -hmm. I would do an ounce of 6NA and then an ounce of 6N and then two ounces of processing solution. And that'll be a beautiful, like very cool, um, ashy brown color for them. All right, so we're going into level five, which is a light brown. The undertone is red and the corrective is green. So what we are gonna describe the, because we use 5N constantly, Mm -hmm. so it's brown to tan plus blue and violet. So again, the N series has that warmth, that neutral tone, so you don't look too um, green or blue, but then it also has the corrective in it, so the blue and violet, so it really does keep it natural. Um, 5N is walnut. It's probably one of my favorite shades of all time. I probably use this tone, I don't know, like, six times a week. Um, I don't know about you, but... I use 5N, I use 5N a lot. And now that you wanna see so much more dimension, everyone wants so much more, Mm -hmm. you wanna go a little darker and go lighter in between those with the highlights to make it pop even more. Um, And I know I used um, Smoke the other day, which is 5NA, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna show you guys here what that looks like. So it kind of looks a little bit like, it kind of has like a violet-y tone to it more than any of these other ones. Um, It just made the most beautiful, like ashy, I'll I'll post a picture. It was like an ashy, I don't know, like it was just a beautiful brunette. So a client is looking for that, like almost like titanium silvery. Smoky cool brunette. Yeah, it was perfect. So try the 5NA if you guys are battling that orange at the five level and the 5N, you guys will love it. Okay, here's our last one, level four, and that's a medium brown, and the undertone is red violet, and the corrective is yellow green. So again, we're gonna talk about the NA series, and then also the um, 4N is one of my favorite shades. So I'm gonna show you the 4NA first. So this is Storm Cloud, it's so pretty. Right here. That's anybody who has like a very warm four, Um, maybe from the sun lifting it or, you know, you're in that color correcting phase, I would just do, again, full power, 4NA all Mm -hmm. over, so it really removes all that warmth. And I also, I love 4N. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, Sal Sal and Sharon Choi, their salon, she posted a photo with 4N all over, and I was literally obsessed with it. Like, I loved the 4N. It's called Chicory. I'll show you guys, so... It is a base of brown to tan with blue violet, and it just takes out unwanted tones. So I would mix that, and if you wanted even more power, you could do 4NA half and half, and that'll really take out any of the unwanted warmth that you don't want.
It'll be really nice, really pretty. Okay, and for level three, two, and one, there isn't any corrective tone. Uh, what you have in level three is violet, the darkest brown, level two is blue violet, and black is blue. So obviously you can see that they don't really need any correcting if you're correcting to get to a natural tone. So from there, three, two, one, if you wanna add more of a pigment to color correct, you can. Um, if you want it to be more blue or more violet, you can absolutely do 3V or 1B is really nice. Um, but most of those levels, you're really not going to see a ton of warmth. So if that's the case, um, I would just use 1B and 3V and you'll love that cool tone on there. Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching. We really hope this video helps you guys understand color correcting more, either in the salon and at home. And don't forget to always look back at your color wheel and your level system. If you ever get confused, that will lead you in the right direction. So we're also doing a giveaway. So one lucky winner is gonna win all of this. All you need to do is follow Cabrina and I on our Instagrams at Cabrina Bianca and at Daniela Benita and tag two friends to follow us on our Instagrams. And that's it. So I'm gonna post all those details below. Thank you again so much for watching. Thanks everyone. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.